So here we are at the Halo 3 release and we're talking to people about Jesus. Let's see if they're as excited about the return of Jesus as they are about Halo 3. Hey guys, we're doing a video for our website. Just put some stuff on everyone in this show like the Halo 3 release. How long have you guys been waiting here? Uh, three hours. Since nine o'clock. Yeah, since nine o'clock. Yeah, we're three at the end of the line because we decided to play bags. Yeah, I was going to say, why well, you should be up in the front. Man. We decided to play bags. Up there. Great, great. Hey, I'm not buying this game, I understand. So you guys been like, just waiting to play, right? Oh yeah, man. waiting for since Halo 2 game was finished. Going to finish the fight? I don't know, I'm going to play online, man. Team Talent right here. Chicago, number one. So team Talent, man. Number one in Halo 2 in Chicago. Number one, Team Talent. Good deal, man. Hey, so what's your website? It's called revolutionchrist.com. Okay. And what, it, what we're talking to people about tonight is, you know, everybody's ready for the you know, return of Halo 3. But are you guys, are you guys ready for the return of Jesus? I already know what it is. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. See you later. Do you guys, are you ready for the return? Because we're all going to stand before God one day. Am I ready for the return of Jesus? Yeah. 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 So I've grown up a good Christian, Catholic boy, Catholic school my entire life, attend church every Sunday, awesome. otherwise it's mortal sin. Of course I'm ready for right, Jesus. Right. So, hey guys, I was going to say as well, though, you asked about repentance. And I'm not trying to, to lecture, but repentance, if I went and said to God, I'm sorry, but I keep living the same way, that don't, no, I, well, burn, I'm going to burn. Jesus wants to be Lord. So Jesus' repentance alone, part of the deal, Jesus said, it, it, we make him Savior, we make him Master. We're going to follow him. We're not just going to repent, we're going to follow Jesus. We're going to give our life, because he said this, but him who wants to follow me, deny himself, pick up his cross. So repentance is, you're right, it's a key, but that's not the whole thing. Living for Jesus Christ is the key. Repentance without change would really be useless. Because I was—I don't know what you were. I was raised the Catholic, right? So we were taught about repentance when I, you know when I was old to say the word repent. But what I learned later is there's such a thing as when I repent, I begin to live for Jesus. And that's a whole. The Lord will also know that. He sees you doing the same thing. Well, right. Well, right. And I mean, I think that's the emphasis. But I, I think Jesus—I think Jesus said that he who sets free is free indeed. So kind of think about this. You sound very familiar. Familiar. Accepting Jesus as, as Lord means, all right, you're going to call the shots, I'm going to follow him. If I'm going to follow Jesus, I'm going to listen to him. So this is a lifestyle. This is, this is that, that the beginning right there. You know that I'm a sinner because I think, it's, like I said, growing up Catholic, I knew I was a sinner. There was no, no debate. But I think what's so crucial just to remember with that um, is that I repent, I come to him, I receive him and make him savior. When I, I don't know about how it went with you when I was raised Catholic. It's like universal savior, meaning whether I personalize it, whether I received him as, as my new Lord, his death kind of atoned for me regardless of where I was. I, mean, I just got my team. I just started reading the scripture and kind of going, this is, this is a little bit different than what I was used to. So it was kind of, it, it, was, it was more than simply that. But I just think it's, it's crucial because we get out here because Jesus uh, absolutely saved my soul. He changed my life. Absolutely, like you said, he forgave me my sins. And he, he's my savior now. It's real day to day. Jesus is alive. And we're testifying to that. So, how long have you guys been here? 7:30. a.m. Basically. 9:30 a.m. Right here. Okay. Wow. So you guys are just ready to finish the fight. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, we're, we're doing a we're doing a video for our website. We're we you know want to throw like a Halo 3 release party and people looking forward to that. But the question we want to ask people is, you know, everybody's excited about this, but you guys ever think about, like, when Jesus returns? Does that mean anything to you? Um, compared to Halo 3? <laughs> right. Compared to Halo 3 and the return of Jesus. That's Halo 3. Yeah, you got more of a building. So, I mean, well, you're probably right.